I'm gonna do a quick video, or as quick as I can do it. Sorry about that. Some of my videos do run long. On this device, the on the software that comes with it, the encryption software that comes with it, I usually like hardware encrypt uh, encrypted devices. I have a, a hard drive that requires sort of like an ATM code. It has a, a number keypad on it, and you press the keypad to gain access. That's hardware, so it's it's harder to crack than uh, software. Um, but there's also an argument to be made, you know, some. Either one is crackable, but I think the hardware one is harder to do it. So as for the software, it came, I I, uh, I never tried the SanDisk software that came with it. I do use the Western Digital Ultra hard drive software that comes with that drive and it works very well. I am not an encryption expert, regular user, and I believe any encryption is better than no encryption. So if you're keeping sensitive data in here, you might want to put some kind of encryption in that way. Anybody, if you lose this drive, you don't worry about it too much, um, having sensitive information on it. So I'm going to try it. One of the things I'm curious about, I think it only will work on OS. I have formatted it to NTFS. Uh, it came EXFAT. I'm going to, I made it an NTFS file uh, format. I like NTFS. And I'm going to see if the encryption software works on it with that format. It should. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. I also want to see if I can access the actual data using my iPad. I may not because, um, you know, like in hardware, uh, when I use my, my external hard drive with the keypad on my iPad Pro, I just have to dial in the numbers and it comes up on the iPad. Software-wise, there always has to be an initiation to... Uh, execute the uh, program so I've never used it I couldn't get my Western Digital Drive to work on my iPad because of the encryption let's see if there's anything different with this one but I will be able to have an encryption for the actual um, for the computer so I may just make a folder encrypted I don't know how the software looks uh, but let's go to the software now, look at the interface and get an idea on the installation process and uh, the encryption process and what I can and can't do with the actual software. I'm a regular user. I am not an expert. Okay. So this is the actual software. There's two of them. There's the Windows version and the Mac version. I'm installing the Windows version today. And it comes on the root directory of the drive when you plug it in. I have it in a folder. Uh, and I usually hide that folder uh, just to keep it on the drive just in case I need to do an installation. I can just unhide the folder and do the install file. But once I do the install, I will be hiding that folder. So let's start the install. This is installing it on my PC. I'm running it off the actual SanDisk drive, but I think I got an icon on my desktop. I'm not sure how it actually works. Uh -oh. Attach a supported SanDisk drive. It's already attached, and I think that's going to be because it's NTFS, so I may have to format it back to EX. It's not seeing, I think it's got to be an EX fat. Okay, let me do that. So to reformat the drive, all you do is go to my computer, right click, choose properties, oh, I'm sorry, right click and choose format. So I'm here now and I'm going to 
I switched it from NTFS, which is what it was, to DXFAT. I usually make this the default. Show with the software. So if you're going to format the drive, make sure that you make a copy of the software and put it on your desktop, back it up somewhere before you do this because it's going to be gone. So I, I've copied it to my desktop and I'll just copy it back. Well, I don't have to. I already installed it, but to back up the software, make sure that you actually do back it up somewhere on, on an external hard drive or the desktop or somewhere, put it somewhere so you have to format the drive, you always have the software you download all the time. Format complete. Okay, that was the issue. The software can only run on EXFAT, not uh, the way it came. That's the way it came, EXFAT. I switched. I'm going to do, you know what, I'm not going to do that so I can see how it is. And if it's telling you everything warning and not retrieve your password, if you forget the password, you will permanently lose access to this data. If you erase or reformat the drive, the password will be deleted. So you can't get into it. You can always format it. You know, hopefully you don't have anything important in there. Let me do my password. I just made it four digits. Uh, you can make it longer, I believe. Uh, so you can do it up to 25 characters. I'm going to try four. I'm not going to do the auto lock yet. I'll do that later. Let me see what's going on. It took a while. It took like a minute or two. And then this finally came up. So I stopped pressing the buttons and I waited. It took about two minutes. Let me, right here, security is enabled on this drive. Password hint. I didn't put one. You might want to put one if you want. Change password to edit. Enter your password, change password, no, 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 no. Let me go to the actual drive itself. This is the actual drive. Let me just put a test folder in here. Maybe I'll copy the video folder. Eject it. Let me try to eject it. No ejection. What's next? What else? So there's no right click eject. So I have to come down here on the right side of my Windows computer. Click on that and eject it right here. And that should have ejected my drive. And it did. Okay, so now I'm getting the option. Let me pull it out and plug it back in so you can see at the bottom what happened. So I'm I'm plugging it and I'm gonna plug it back in. And it should have an option for me to install to in, to uh, type in the password. It's taking a second. I just unplugged it and plugged it back in. Okay. There it 
this transition block. I click on that. And this is what comes up. So I'm going to click here, run the SanDisk Drive Unlocker EXE. Click on that. Let me type in my password. Let me unlock it. And there it is. All the stuff I need. Again, I am not a security expert. I'm just a regular guy. I don't even play one on YouTube. I just installed the software so I can have it. It encrypted. It should have encrypted the whole drive. I can't access the drive at all unless uh, I run the program. Uh, unlock screen. Close it. And I have access to the drive now. So interesting. This is how what the contents inside the actual drive itself once it's secured and you can either enter the password here or go in here if it doesn't run you say let me close this if you need it to run again you just double click this it's the contents within the drive after the encryption and windows to run the program yep there we go okay so that's the program it encrypts the drive. It keeps my stuff as secure as it could be compared to it not having any security. So I'm happy. No issues whatsoever. All right, I hope the video helps. I hope you liked it. I don't know the quality of this encryption. I'm assuming it's a good one since SanDisk is a name brand, and I wouldn't think they would put something out that doesn't work. Uh, sort of like a Western Digital type thing. I've never had any issues. Never lost any encrypted drive, so I couldn't tell you from personal experience, but again, I'd rather have someone frustrated trying to get in. I don't have, you know, secret documents or anything, but I may have personal items in there that I don't want anybody just to access. So it might be best to put some encryption on the actual drive. All right, um, I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye now.